Hello, hello, it's me, Jeanette. How are you? Hope you've been well. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a quick look at my Happy Binder and also a tutorial on how to make your own. And you're probably wondering, what in the world is a Happy Binder? And a Happy Binder is just what it sounds like. It's a binder full of things that make you happy. This can be things that inspire you, magazine clippings, postcards, letters, envelopes, you will see that my happy binder has a lot of just random things. And I know that once you see the inside of my happy binder, you're gonna say, Jeanette, isn't this just a junk journal? And yes, it is, but I prefer to call it a happy binder because I feel like junk journal has a negative connotation. And the things that I have in here are definitely not junk, at least to me. So this took a while to compile. <laughs> That rhymed. It took a while. This wasn't something that happened overnight. So I'm going to flip through it just to give you a quick overview and then um, I'm going to jump right into that tutorial on how you can make your own. As you can see, there's just a lot of random tidbits in here. Envelopes from my pen pals, postcards, greeting cards, uh, more envelopes. Um, just letters from my pen pals, magazine clippings, photos, a uh, picture of me on a trampoline holding some balloons. <laughs> so random. And I know I could have just stored all this stuff in a box and stuffed it under my bed and called it a day, but I really felt like I wanted these things to be accessible to me so that I can go back and look at them and be inspired by them. So let's jump into that tutorial. So what you'll need to make your own happy binder is a little binder. This one is a mini binder. It's like six by nine, I think. Just kidding, seven by nine. Or if you want to, you can just use a large, you know, just a regular uh, three ring binder. And so here it is. I will have a link below to where you can purchase something similar. I got this one at Target. And if you go to Target to the office supply section, there are a lot of uh, binders like this. I've seen them recently. So you're gonna need a binder, single hole punch, a little template so you know where to hole punch all your little goodies and tidbits, and then a collection of stuff that makes you happy. These were sent to me by Tania of Strabismic Bird, and it's an Etsy shop, and she specializes in these super cute uh, postcards and greeting cards and this one is hilarious. She's offering a 15% off discount, no minimum purchase required using the code Jeanette15. So I'll have a link to her Etsy shop where you can purchase uh, some of these cute postcards. So once you have all the things you want to put inside of your binder, you're just going to want to figure out the order that you want to put everything in. And you're going to want to line things up in a visually stimulating way and I'm going to be sharing how to do that in just a bit. Now to line things up in a visually stimulating way, you're gonna wanna organize your papers in a way that stimulates the movement of your eyes. I know that sounds a little scientific, but there is a lot of sense to it. We tend to lose focus when our eye pans across something that's in a straight line, but if things are visually stimulating, it causes our eyes to move in an up and down motion and it's more engaging. So keep that in mind as you're ordering the papers in your happy binder and make sure that you're alternating where you're hole punching things. 
use the bottom two rings and the top two rings and also alternate the sizes of the papers. So for example, if you're hole punching two postcards in consecutive order, you're gonna wanna go back and put a smaller piece in between, maybe something like a photograph or a mini tag to keep things visually stimulating. And the same thing goes for color. So if you're gonna put two pieces of white paper, like one right behind the other, you wanna add something in between to break it up. So my suggestion would be to place a bright, larger size paper behind anything white to add contrast. And I know all of that sounds really technical and scientific in the opposite of creative and inspiring, but really I think it does help. So that's a good start, right? Now I can go back and fill in sections that are too symmetrical for my taste. And I just wanna insert a quick disclaimer here. If having things lined up and orderly is more inspiring to you, then like please do what appeals to you in your creative eye because after all, this is your happy binder. Well, that's it for today, friends. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.